Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Washington State with, well, El Dopey Dog as he attempts to investigate one of his own local city halls. Or so he thinks it is. I mean, the guy's not that bright anyway. But this guy is an example of why frauding is so dangerous. I mean, uh, the very concept of it anyway. Because you've got somebody who's uh, not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. And easily influenced by those who are a great deal more intelligent than he is. Even if they're not much more intelligent. Basically, he's on the low end of the Kool-Aid drinkers. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and see what this idiot has to say. As you can see, very cameras on. Problem when we film them, but they don't. They have a. They always. The public employees always have a problem with us filming them. In that way, Kinsale Street Post Office. Now, this is where I'm going, right here. Oh, glory up there. Uh, did somebody from the mental hospital warn City Hall that one of their jibbering mental patients is loose and about to wander right into their uh, facility? Uh, probably not, but uh, let's find out and see what happens. The First Amendment, or even the whole Constitution, the law, us, the people, we the people is what the law is. What is the Constitution? It is the supreme law of the land. Well, if you call it the supreme law of the land, you are probably quite ignorant considering that it can be changed. It can be amended. And amendments can be taken away. There is a process in the Constitution that lays it out. So if you don't know that, you need to go do your research on it, buddy. So, we got, oh, it's beautiful here. See, a lady and Christian notices only on this side of the board. And we are open. Let's see. Just imagine, if you will, uh, you're working hard and you're about to go home for the day. And then this gibbering idiot walks in. Oh, wait, that's already happened to me on plenty of occasions. I've worked for Walmart. Hi. What can I do for you? Um, <clears throat> this is a public office, right? It's City Hall. Oh, okay. So you guys are public employees? Are you recording me? I am. Okay. It's my official record. Okay. Yeah. So could I get your name? In your title, please. Oh, I don't know how to read. Well, that certainly does explain a lot. I'm sure you're partially illiterate at least because there are signs that uh, I've seen you read uh, partially or outright wrong. So it's definitely a possibility that you're at least partially illiterate. At least you're admitting to it. Now I'm just beginning to wonder uh, what grade level education you have. I know New York Public Tour said he uh, dropped out before 8th grade. So when did you drop out? Hi. I am the public. Came in to see how you guys are doing. How, you got, how are you guys doing? Good? Okay. Do you happen to know who your boss is? The mayor. The mayor? Mm -hmm. Michael Buckingham. Michael Buckingham. Okay, so you work for him privately then, right? Pardon? You work for Michael Bucking Buckingham privately? Okay, okay. That's the public. 
the city is the public. Oh my God, who the hell cares? And I am the public. Hi. Is the mayor in? We're actually getting ready to close. Oh. And what time do you close? What time, what time do you close? At four. At four. Mm -hmm. And it, and it's three thirty-two. Correct. So they're not in. I I heard I read somewhere that um, um we we passed a uh like a uh uh some kind of like uh um bill so that we could upgrade the city hall. Is that is that right? We're gonna get a new city hall soon. Maybe. Dude, what is your purpose in this building and why are you engaging in idle chit chat with these people? Because they've got less than 30 minutes to get their work done and you're interfering with that because you have absolutely no purpose in there whatsoever. Not even to do a FOIA request. Next year or... I think that maybe that's where I, what I read. Yeah, so I, I'm excited. You know, I, I like new uh, public buildings that are really open and free like this one. Yeah, um, I'm gonna let you guys go because you guys seem like um, you guys are trying to finish up for the day. Um, you guys, be 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 uh, be be uh, have a nice day. So I am not scared here. Wait, you're joking, right? Uh, you're supposed to be a frauditor. You're not supposed to be afraid to walk into these buildings. You're supposed to man up, walk in there, and demand that you have the absolute right to film and harass these employees until the point where you get yourself arrested. And then in the uh, police car afterward, you are supposed to uh, cry like a little girl. That's right, Aselmo, I'm looking at you. Well, anyway, I don't know exactly what the whole point of this uh, First Amendment fraud it was, but uh, but who cares? I mean, the guy's a complete moron who just follows the bigger morons. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.